Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dan Paperi. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about acquiring uh, data across the internet um, using TCP and using LabVIEW. And so it's gonna be kind of different than we've done in previous semesters. In previous semesters in 214L, students have built their own ECG devices and collected their own ECG. Unfortunately, while we are all working from home because of COVID-19, um, I am broadcasting my ECG data across the internet. I have some both some pre-recorded data, and then as I have a chance, I'll go ahead and hook up the electrodes to me, and you can have some live data as well. So I'm going to show you how to set that up in LabVIEW. So the first thing is I'm not going to put the actual web address and port number that you should access um, using LabVIEW. Uh, you can find that on the Canvas page, and I'll tell you how to do it. But we're going to access the Internet through TCP protocol. And so in order to do that, I'll go to my block diagram, and I can find data communication, and it's under protocols, and it's under TCP protocols. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open a TCP connection to my home internet server, and then we're going to want to read data from it. And so the first thing we'll do is open the connection. And so right now I have two Raspberry Pi servers. They're literally sitting on the floor under me. They're running 24-7. Here's a picture of them. Um, and so those are basically an ECG uh, device, what we could use and distribute to the internet. So first thing we need to know is the address. And so again, this is where you will enter um, the address that I gave you on Canvas. So I'll right click here, say create a constant, and I'll type in that address. And then we will enter the port number, which is the second one down. So I'm going to right click on that one, create a constant for that, and the port number that I gave you. And then the other, other two things that are on here are the timeout in milliseconds and the error in, no error. We don't really need those. Uh, there's the error out here um, we, that we honestly don't really need either. Um, I don't expect any errors. Um, but if you get an error, this is where you could like process error and figure out what's going on. There's also local port. We're not going to mess with that either. The only thing we really care about is this connection ID. That's what we're going to send to our other TCP work, uh, block where we're going to read data. So let's go ahead and make that other block. Again, it's under data communication, protocols, TCP, TCP read. Okay, and so we can just make a connection then from that connection ID to that connection ID because that's the one we opened. And then there's a couple other inputs. One is bytes to read. And so I told you the bytes to read on this. So we're going to create a constant. It was 16 bytes. So I'm sending this ECG data in 16 byte words, um, which are basically flo floating point um, numbers. Um, the other thing, again, you don't know, we need to worry about um, timeout. You can wire these errors up if you wanted to. Mode, you could put a constant there where we can control the mode, but we're just doing standard. Um, and then the only thing we need here is this data out. That's where our data comes. And so I'm just gonna quickly right click on this and create a indicator. And so that will be the data out over here. Okay, so that will read one piece of data. So obviously we wanna keep reading the data. So in order to do that, we're gonna create a while loop around this. And we'll make a stop button here, create a control, which is our stop button. And so now we should be able to run this simple thing and we should see the data coming across. So we get the data coming across just like we expect. Again, this is coming from my internet server. Um, it's a very short trip since I'm here at home anyway, but it is going across the internet. This is an easy way you can read data using LabVIEW from the internet. Now I admit this is pretty boring, right? It's just showing a bunch of flashing numbers. But the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually graph it and look at it visually.